19. Is that too fast a start for his career? No, I don't think so because they, they match him very carefully. They are not fighting quality fighters down there. And as he said, not impenetrable opponent for Alvarez to be facing. There's a good right hand by the 19-year-old. And he is wobbled by a left hook. And he's in trouble, and Cotto's dumping him. And maybe the matchmaking was a mistake, but no, he gets out of trouble, still wobbling. Miss, he dodges a right hand, comes back with a right. His he solution should, is to fight. He shouldn't be clinching. He's fighting instead of and clinching. Who knows how long he can hold that weight. Yeah. Uppercut by Alvarez lands. Huh. Almost landed that sizzling right hand shot. And they leave the, uh, the front part of the face open and they get caught with the shot. Right inside. And you see from there was just a barrage of punches, but he was able to survive most of those and come back. Uh, and here is a kid who has been uh, picked out uh, to watch. Were they training together down there in Tampa? Good hard left yeah, hand yeah, by Albert. They, they, they trained together at the same time, but he goes in. They, they very few words, but you know, between them about trying to give each other advice when they're training. They train totally separate, go past each other. Never interfere with each other's training. Good counter right hand up and under from Chris Alvarez and Cotto's glove touched the canvas. Covered in, land the right hand a little too far out. This is, this is because of the height advantage and the disadvantage that he has, throwing his punches too far. And he really lost his balance more than anything else. But he was hit and getting off balance coming in. He landed nine punches in the last minute of round two. That was something of a comeback rally. and. Now they're giving and taking in round number three. And uh, if, if Jose can keep that pressure on him. You may see on his trunks the word Canelo. That means cinnamon. They call him cinnamon for that reddish hair. Yeah. But looks more Irish than he does Mexican. Covered from the shock of getting hurt by Cotto in round one. Trying to load it up a little bit. Right there. Hard right hands up and under. And the body shot. Another well-placed uppercut with the left hand. That was brilliant. Cotto just followed him around and letting him recharge without attacking him. With that uppercut is well delivered and starting to gain some purchase. And look at the determination of Jose Miguel Cotto, who keeps... When he looked... Uh like he was lumbering around a little from too much muscle. Hard left hook by Alvarez. I think what's emerging here, Emmanuel, what we're seeing from this 19-year-old is that he has a great timing. Yes, great, great timing for when to deliver the shots. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what I see is great poise. And he's hurting Cotto with those right hands and the left hooks. Cotto not throwing back, finally releases his hands, but not before Alvarez. Back and forth. Good hard right hand, a guy like Alvarez. But Alvarez is very sharp, very crisp, and punching with full authority and crispness. <laughs> Alvarez landed 17 punches in the last minute of round number five, and now, as the last minute of round six arrives, he heats it up again. Man, yes, it does. And, and I, I like the fact that he started early because the fact that, you know, he doesn't have that type of an amateur background. As he does since Roy Jones Jr. I mean, he is terrific coming off those ropes. Five to one, Alvarez. Cotto landed a right hand, best punch in a while. Most of them are partially blocked as Alvarez is keeping his hand way up. Well, we're going to see now in these late rounds how... Not that bad a punch him either. Are you talking on the record? Almost clinical Alvarez is here, trying to break down Cotto on the ropes. Clinical as an adjective for a 19-year-old fighter. <laughs> but he is. There was a moment in 08, a couple of years ago, when Alvarez settled into the notion that he's gonna be going the distance here with Jose Miguel Cotto, so Alvarez has in his head. He's trying to win the fight by decision at this point. I just think he's trying to win the fight. If the knockout comes, it comes. But he's not, certainly not uh, with a chance to be something. We're seeing one now. Beautiful right hand right over the top. Tremendous quickness on that right hand. Cotto seems to be buzzed. Cotto keeping his hands up, not really throwing back. Alvarez targeting right-hand shots, targeting right-hand shots. 
Tony Weeks looking, looking. How much punishment does Tony Weeks want to allow Jose Miguel Cotto to take? Cotto's got to start punching back, otherwise his fight will be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. Saul Canelo Alvarez.